Hey guys, um, so if you watched my first tutorial, you saw me do my brows in that tutorial. Um, I mentioned that I was doing a look, and I am. This is going to be my pink out in honor of breast cancer awareness. What you see me doing now is um, I'm taking a BH Cosmetics 128 brush and I'm blending out Creamy Beige Concealer by LA Girl Pro Conceal. Y'all know my hair still hero. Got to use the hair still hero as a base. Um, next, I'm taking Custard from the Juvia's Place Dolce Palette. And I'm taking it on a e.l.f. blending brush. That's going to be my crease color. What I'm doing is I am stippling the color on, building up the color to my liking. And um, I'm putting that in my crease. Well, I'm putting it a little bit above my crease because I do have a hooded lid. So I have to go above where my normal crease would be. Um, once I have that color built up, I'm going to go into Origi in the Festival Palette by Juvia. And that's on a Morph Blender. I just got a Morph, Morphe Morph. People say the company name wrong, child. But, you know, once one person say it wrong and everybody starts saying it wrong, the company just go with it. Morphe Morph, whatever floats your boat. I'm taking a brush and I'm using that lighter pink to blend out the first pink that I put into my crease. Um, you got to be careful with matte shadows because when you're in the blending process, sometimes they do get a bit patchy. And you see me pointing that out. Next, I'm going to take this purple from the Zulu palette, also by Juvia's. And I am taking that on a BH Cosmetics number 8 brush. And I'm just deepening up my crease a little bit more. Although it is a purple, it's more so on the pink side. Um, so... It gave me just enough darkness that I needed, and I'm going back in with that e.l.f. blending brush just to smooth out the transition. Next, I'm taking a little Hesto Hero Concealer Brush Child. I don't know where I got this brush from, but it does the job. And I'm taking Creamy Beige along with Fawn. Um, I just mixed a little bit of Fawn in there to cut my crease. And I got bad eyes. So it takes me a little bit to cut my crease, but girl, she get better. Y'all just stick with me. We're going to work it on out. And I'm going ahead. I rounded off the back of my cut crease, and I'm just blending that out with the concealer, trying to spread um, as much as the product that I already have on my brush on as possible. Next, I'm taking a BH Cosmetics 121 brush just to smooth out the product that I put on my lid because creasing is not cute, sis. I mean, it happens to the best of us, but we're going to try to prevent it as much as we can. Next, I'm taking the number five brush by BH Cosmetics. It is a shadow brush, packer brush, whatever kind of brush you want to use it for. I don't know what it's used for. I never really use any of my brushes for what they are typically used for. I use them for what works for me. Um, and this pigment is by MAC. It's in the color Rose. And I use that because I liked it. It was cute. I felt like it went with what I was trying to do. So I'm just getting along that crease, trying to make sure I keep my, my cut crease as sharp as possible. Next, you're going to see me go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. Um, I went for a small wing because I wanted the focus to be on my shadow and my lashes. I really, really like the lashes that I put on in this tutorial. Um, if I wear my glasses, I don't wear lashes typically, so I would do a thicker wing, but for today, we sticking with what we got and now I'm gonna do my other eye off camera I did my other eye put my lashes on child we moisturize and moisturize your crusty ass face before you put that dry behind makeup on your face okay Nivea cream is what I moisturize with next I went in with the hard candy pore filling primer um I have large pores on my nose and on my cheeks so I gotta fill those up Next, I'm going in with my foundation, which is a mixture of MAC NC50, the Studio Fluid, and Revlon Color Stay in 400. Um, mixing is trial and error, girl. You just got to figure out, like I said, makeup is what works for you. You can watch my tutorial all day, but my techniques or what I use may not work for you. <clears throat> I'm taking that foundation on a elf ultimate blending brush i am stippling that on 
The padding motions in my eyes help the primer and the moisturizer that I put up under my face not move. And it also, um, the air kind of helps it blend down, um, dry down, excuse me. Next, I'm taking my concealer and fun. I put that up under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and on my huge forehead. And then I'm gonna take my contour color, which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa. I'm gonna do the hollows of my cheeks and around this godforsaken hairline. Once I do that, I am going to take my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I am going to stipple that contour. You'll see me blend up just a little bit. I'm gonna go around my hairline as well. Um, I'm also stippling there, but I'm blending back. If you can tell, I put my contour a little bit above my hairline just so I could blend back because sometimes when you try to blend forward when doing your contour from your hairline, you end up blending down too much and then your forehead be dark. Um, next, I'm going to take my handy dandy sponge, another hair store hero. It's nothing special, but she gets the job done. It is damp. I'm going to spread that highlight color um, almost around my cheekbone, so to say. Yeah, I, I do it to the highest point of my cheekbone, but I kind of drag it out a little bit more. I drag that product also down across my lip. You'll see me blend out my nose and this ginormous forehead that I have. And then once I'm done blending that out, I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush because, oh no, I lied. I am going in with creamy beige just to pull the creases up under my eyes forward. Um, I do that because sis has bags. Girl, Prada Chanel, Gucci Louis, Michael Kors, Ziploc, a bag is a bag. Publix, Kroger, a bag, it's there, okay? And I need to secure those. So I do that just to pull the, um, try to pull those creases forward a little bit more before I set. Now I'm going back in with my foundation brush <clears throat> just to blend those um, two colors together. Blendation is the game, says blend it. I don't care how long it takes, blend it. Okay, to your satisfaction, blend it. Next, I'm taking some black opal loose powder on my wet sponge and I'm going to pat that up under my eyes. Um, I like the I like to do this so I can marry these two products together and it also gives a finished look. Usually I will bake up under my eyes um, just to secure them bags a little bit more but I was racing the sun. The sun was setting and I need to take my pictures <laughs> or else this makeup would have been wasted. But I'm going down the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, forehead. And then I'm also going to reverse contour just a little bit to sharpen up my contour that I did. Next, I'm going to go in with my Queen CoverGirl Collection pressed powder. Do not know the color. I'm sorry. And I'm just trying to combat that, um, that coolness in my contour. I'm also going to go in with a Wet n Wild bronzer just to combat that a little bit more. <clears throat> oh Lord, what is going on with my voice? I'm taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Genius. And then this is MAC Darkest Deep to contour my nose. Everybody who knows me knows I love a new schnauzer girl. Ain't nothing like a cute nose. My nose big. It ain't always going to be a button, but I can get it cute. Then I'm taking this um what is that that's the real techniques number 12 brush and i'm just putting on this dark powder by black opal and blending my face together i line my lips with a mac lip liner i forgot the the color but i'm taking this nyx um matte lipstick as well as this jcat beauty liquid lipstick the lighter pink is the liquid lipstick by jcat or somebody it's a hairstyle hero y'all and i'm putting that on 
Then you'll see me take Black Jesus by Juvia's Place. It's not called Black Jesus. It's called the Royalty Tool. But I love this highlighter. This highlighter is so, it's buildable. It is subtle. But if you want a lot, you can put a lot. It's not intimidating and it's not too glittery. I say Black Jesus was sitting at the table when sis, with sis when she put this formula together because it is perfection in a cup. Let me tell you. Buy this. Okay? Buy this. If you don't buy nothing else, buy this. But I put that on the highest points of my cheeks as well as the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. I don't really do my forehead because it's already big and I get oily in my forehead. Now I'm taking my MAC Fix Plus, spraying down my face. I'm very disappointed in my lighting because it does not do it any justice, but I will be sure to um, add, well, I added pictures at the end of the video so you can see it in natural light. And that is the final look. I am so in love with this pink look. I feel like I did breast cancer just this by this. I love it with the pink hair, pink eyes, and it still wasn't too much. Um, but yeah, this is the finished look. Be sure to leave me a comment. Please thumbs up this video, like, subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Y'all stay pretty and stay productive.